Look. <laughs> Isn't he great? You and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else like you. We're ready to go. about and they are going in for bisque today Woo and superman oh my gosh i owe superman a ton because i could not have done this <laughs> in such a short time uh so we are loading this I love getting the bisque out of the kiln. Now, what happens in between the bisque kiln load and the glaze kiln load, I can do without. But, that's okay. Superman is gonna help me with this one. <laughs> Superman saves the day yet again. And uh, I really, I really, really don't know what I would do without him this time because I am against a wall. All this stuff's got to get done or it's not going to make it to the next show that we're doing. Um, and it's probably not going to make it onto the website before we go to that show. So I really don't hope that we have any of it left for you to buy online. <laughs> Gnomes are coming out. Uh, I got Fairy House with you. Um, I got some pictures. I got um, all those pumpkins. Pumpkins. Uh, so very, very, very excited about that. You, you haven't been with me long if you don't know that I don't like wax. And uh, we're trying out a new wax uh, for that reason. Forbes Wax Resist. I got it if you're um, in or around Texas. I got it at Trinity Ceramics. It's Honestly, not that bad so far. <laughs> but this was highly recommended to us by um, the wonderful people at Trinity. 
in Dallas. And so we thought we'd try it. And honestly, it's quite nice thus far. I have no complaints, which is really odd. <laughs> Um, so check it out. Forbes Wax Resist. I have no idea if this is singularly a Trinity Ceramic, um, product or if it is something you can get elsewhere. Oh, very exciting. exciting. <laughs> These are so cute. Um, moving right along, moving right along. <laughs> I've been trying this new wax resist and I really like it. It goes on really nicely, cleans up really nicely. However, uh, you don't want to put it over any kind of raw glaze, um, because it is water-based and, um, so, so it will wipe off and that's exactly what happened to this one. So he went through a second uh, sauna in the um, kiln and now he's getting waxed up again. And uh, I will dip him into his glaze coat. But as far as wax resists are concerned, this stuff is like magic. I mean, it's just, I love it. It paints on like paint and not like wax. Uh, and so far it hasn't gotten, you know, like clumpy in the bottom or anything. It hasn't uh, gotten any kind of negative, um, stuff. Other than just me randomly hitting my pots with the wet brush. Um, <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> oh, what can you do? So anyway, He's gonna sit for a minute so he can dry. Woohoo! Making some progress, guys. Good stuff. <laughs> so, this piece has a little bit of kiln cookie stuck to the back of it right there. So, this is vitreous, 100% vitreous clay. And uh, I'm gonna use my little fingernail file. It's gonna get this off. All gone. No problem. <laughs> the sanding bit isn't quite as um, sandpapery feeling as it was, but pretty nifty. I mean, honestly. You can buy these bits. So I have gotten way further, way further than I ever thought I would before Tim got home. I'm down to stems on my, on my pumpkins. I've got a fairy house. Um, Things are looking good. Things are looking really good. So all of a sudden I feel like I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And it makes me happy. And the garage door is up and it makes me happy. And <clears throat> there's lots of things to be happy about. This little thing has been my best friend whilst glazing all these things because as you may have seen, so I'm going to employ this yet again uh, with the green that 
or the brown that is going to go on the tops of these. Okay, well, he won't, but he will. Well, bam. And I'm hoping that we'll make that go as quickly as the others did. But once we get through with all of the uh, stems on all of the um, pumpkins, that will be like 50% of it will be done. Then I got to do this fairy house. I got to do this. And um, there's some other things. But those are pretty brainless. So we're okay with that. <laughs> Yes, getting it done feels so good sometimes. Today it feels good. This is your friendly public service announcement from this fantastic little fairy house here. Remember, do your colors first. Because if clear glaze gets on top of the color, it's not a big deal. But if color gets on top of a clear glaze, it's kind of a big deal. happened since the last clip of this video and <laughs> all of our stuff is uh still in the display boxes and bagged up and all that kind of stuff but I didn't get a chance to take pictures of it or get it on the website or even f film it coming out of the kiln. Uh, so I wanted to show you a couple of pieces. Little gnome. You can sit right there. Have you propped up on a chair? He's sitting on the chair. And this is his little friend. This little friend. This one got a crack right there. But that's okay. You can't tell from the other side, so I'm selling him at a discount. But he's right there. And then I got this one. And the purple one sold already. <laughs> Hang out over there, dude. We did have a few of the pumpkins left. So those are fun. And then none of the uh, pumpkin fairy houses sold. So I have all three of those. And again, these aren't on the website yet. So if you want to buy these, you'll need to um, direct message me somehow. Uh, oh, one last big pumpkin. A purple one. I like him. And then I wanted to show you these. So this is the one that had the snafu with the wax resist. Cute. And the butterfly didn't sell. Still the monarch butterfly. Hey! We um, will be doing a local show on December the 4th. We will be in downtown Belton. Um, and, you know, if you're going to come say hi, well, come say hi. <laughs> It's an all-day show. It's a downtown built-in, and um, we will be having some sales. <laughs> so thanks for coming, everybody. I'm sorry that this whole um, kiln opening part is a little anticlimactic, <laughs> especially without our usual slideshow, but uh, I'm not unpacking all of these boxes to set up what we would normally do uh, as far as photography is concerned. Uh, I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs>
geschimpft haben. I just explained a whole lot and did not realize that I was not recording any of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, it is what it is. Okay, so here we go again.